Senator, what's happened? We've seen lots of the social media clips. Can you explain exactly where you are and explain what's happened earlier today? Well, I, I, what happened is something I, I, I can't even imagine. I, I went to, uh, I came back from my location and I proceeded to the Royal Palm Hotel to see the where what actually happened. On getting to the Royal Palm Hotel, I saw a lot of pubs. I knew they were waiting. So they, they started uh, molesting, cutting my boys, uh, shooting, but the police were there too. And the police did nothing and said nothing. And they, they started marching, so my oddlies, I want them know what to shoot, so they rushed me to a room and locked me up. So those boys had tear gas, the police also were throwing tear gas, everything they were. As they were advancing, the police were backing them up. And they were coming and we were shooting. So I inquired, they say it's government house police. And I asked, listen, is this the directive of the IG or the IG of the CP? Can the government actually use government house police to, to do what he's doing? And then I, uh, well, they kept me in a room for some time, but all my boys got injured. In fact, right now, the, the, my in-law was shot. His leg has been scattered. And he's right now bleeding. So I hope he makes it. Um, the situation is quite bad, and surprisingly, the police was me to a pickup and brought me to a police station. I'm here now. As I'm here, I'm just doing. They've said, not said anything to me. I asked them, What is my offense? Well, they said uh, conspiracy and, uh, and uh, well, public disorder and just something I can understand. So they said it was the governor that directed them. I made a report to them to arrest me. Uh, so I'm still at a very sh a big shock and confused as what is happening here. Uh, but many people were injured, and uh, uh, a particular of note was what shocked me was the SD to the governor pulled out his shirt, carried the machete himself, and was was coming to me to to machete me when. I was moved out, and he was calling the boys, calm, calm. He was in charge, and the police were following him. And when they uh, 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 arrested me, so to say, the police, uh, he entered the West East to come and I entered the police pickup and came to to the to the police station with their own video and take it. And they were making just of me that there's only one governor in the state, where there's only one immunity, and they're going to deal with me, I think. All kinds of man, I can't believe it. I'm still at a state of uh, confusion as to what was related to this. But all my cars, all my cars had bullet wounds. They shattered all the cars. And the hotel where I was, where I was kept in the room, had to lie down flat. They were shooting everywhere, marketing everything. And I, uh, until they are done with what they want to do, they beat up all the boys with me and, and uh, dragged everybody to the pickup. It's, it's, it's something I can't even imagine yet. Uh, this is what I can consider stories I hear in movies, but I've seen it live and it's real. I'm so shocked. Senator, can I just confirm, have you or your wife, have you personally been attacked or are you wounded? That's what some of the uh, social media um, blogs yes, are suggesting. Yes, yes, yes. I, no, no, actually, what it did was... Uh, the tear gas they threw at me by the police and the people and uh, that, that was my handled but except for my even my chief, my detail was taken he was pulled his suit beaten up uh, my ugly was beaten up they were getting to me when i was moved into a room and they were saying come down come down and they were shooting at the room uh, shooting everywhere uh, but prior to this the, there was uh, a lot the government gave order to uh, seal the hotel in question and out of what he called the the, uh, the report from the Commission of Inquiry. And they have concluded the report. No one ever invited anybody. There was nothing. They had a report um, which maybe he cooked up in government house and I started acting on it. Not a court order. Not a court order. Not any court judgment. And this is his style. And the government has been doing this. Last time, the widow was arrested and kept here for two days and um, and it's probably arrested
said, and the Lord has a, a, a new law that gives him power to arrest people at will and put them in jail at will. They caught tomorrow and get caught out and control detention. But so far, I'm here. I've uh, sent text to the Commissioner of Police. They caught tomorrow and get caught out and control detention. But so far, I'm here. I've uh, sent text to the Commissioner of Police. I've called everybody. Nobody's responding. So I'm just here in one room, one dark room, no light. So I'm just waiting for what will be the next line of action by the police in this matter. Um, this is where we are. So, um, Senator, who are you with at the moment? Who have you been detained with? Uh, well, there's, there's one, my former commissioner who was with me, he was beating mercilessly. And you know what shocked me that in, in, in the presence of the police, this boy was being beaten mercilessly. And uh, actually, there was one boy from his village who beat him up here. Right now, he doesn't have a shoe, he doesn't have a phone, they tore his clothes. And, but I don't think he's a, he's, a, he's a suspect in that question. This guy just saw a potential to beat him up. That's where we are.